I got yeah, to get man. to the bay, man. Yeah, you know, so you know how we say, you know, we, we everybody else slower than us, man. We the game originated in oh, uh, California. Here we go. Ass you know, but, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 Milwaukee, man. Hold man, on, wait a minute, man. man. It's a lot of it's a lot of slow talking niggas with a lot of game in Texas, nigga. They talk real slow. Take their mindset. No, no, no. We got respect for Texas, Texas, Memphis. You know, hey, if they didn't have respect for Milwaukee, I'd have knocked enough hoes out of Sacramento. Hey, they call it Sacramento. I call it Macramento. You know what I mean? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, okay, you said you read books earlier. Like, how many books uh, do you read a year? Oh man, I don't, I don't keep score. I don't feel like the amount of books matter. I feel like it's what you get from them, man. Some days I'll just wake up and I'll read just a page of a book, and that's all enough that I need. Cause we need to be reminded more than we need to be taught. Everything in all of these books, if you start reading a lot, you realize they all saying the same thing in different ways. Just putting a little piece of gym in your mind every day, no matter how small, is just to keep you on track for that day, man. We can't remember what we ate for breakfast last Wednesday. You, we, you definitely not going to remember what's in these books. But every day, you start your day with that little gym to remember whatever principle you need to because you need to be reminded more than you need to be taught. So, man, it's not about how much you read. It's just about consistently reading. And if you not reading, I'm going to beat you in every single thing that we're doing. Like, the reason that I can speak the way that I'm speaking is because I'm able to draw from so many different places. If we're going to do the same thing, I'm going to beat you if you're not reading. That's I'm right. being able to draw from so many different sources. If the, if you're trying to do business and you haven't read a billionaire's book on business who done put his entire life down in a book, all of his pitfalls, all of his successes, all the things that you should avoid, if you're not reading that, you're not serious about life. I've read that book. I'm going to read these people who have lived 100 years, and I'm going to get all of the wisdom, and I'm going to know what to avoid, what to do. And most of these people out here, they want to figure it out, man. A smart man learns from his mistakes, but a smarter man learns from other people's mistakes so he don't have to because mistakes could be fatal. And if you take the wrong turn, it might waste 10 years of your life. So reading is very important. Talk to me about coming up in Sacramento, like as a youngster, like what was your life like growing up? Talk about the, you know, was your mom and dad both in the home? Uh, my dad died when I was 11 years old. So up until then, and my, and my dad wasn't in the household, but he lived around the corner. So I was with my dad a lot. And then when he died, it was like, you know, it was lawless. You know, do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. Your mama can't tell you nothing. So that's when I started jumping outside and, you know, getting a little wild. But thankfully for me, you know, my mom, she was still on top of me. She really didn't let me hang out, you know, and I, I hated her then for it, but I love her now for it because when I look back, all of them dudes was going to jail and juvenile hall when, you know, when I was had to be in the house and things like that. But it also kept me, you know, working and focused on my money. And then, you know, at the age of 16, you know, my uncle, he moved down the street and he was a player from Oakland. He came through and he showed me a different lifestyle. So I went from living this square lifestyle, you know, just a regular lifestyle, living, having a girlfriend, to seeing this man come down the street, Benz, Hummer, uh, another Benz, uh, a female here, two females in here, a woman rubbing his bike back, one cooking for him, one rubbing his toes. And I'm like, damn, you can live like that? And, you know, it changed my whole paradigm. And I turned around and I said, okay, that's what I want to get on. And, you know, that turned around everything for me. And then Sacramento, you know, around when I was coming up, the lifestyle, the game, you know, just that lifestyle was very attractive. And people was either selling drugs or they was getting into that lifestyle. Mm. And it was like I was attracted to that. Wow. Um, up, up on that end, it's, it's a lot of players and, and max and pimps. And yeah. The game, you yeah. know, like like I, Lewis Belt. Do you know him? No. Nah. It's a guy, a comedian named Belt. He came in here. He, he from up on. So how far is that from Oakland and all that? Like two hours, hour and a half. Two hours. Yeah, it's all up there. It's, 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 it, I need to get up there. I, ain't never, yeah, I told you I ain't bay, been up bay. there. Go I got to bay. get to the Bay, man. Yeah, you know, so you know how we say, you know, we, we everybody else slower than us, man. We, the game originated in, in oh, California. Oh, here we go. Sweet. You know. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not in Milwaukee, man. Hold man, on. Wait a minute, man. man. It's a lot of it's a lot of slow talking niggas with a lot of game in Texas, nigga. They talk real slow. Take their mindset. No, no, no. We got respect for Texas, Texas, you know Memphis, hey. you know. <laughs> Hey, if they didn't have Milwaukee. respect for Milwaukee, I'd have knocked enough hoes out of Sacramento. Oh, like, no, no, right? Hey, they call it Sacramento. I call it Macramento. Oh, oh, you know what I mean? I was out there back, in the, back in the fact on them hoes, man. Man, that's <laughs> crazy, man. So, I'm going to tell you, kid, like, me and you, like, we been, we done did this a lot of times in here, man. Like, what, what what do you guys plan to do with this whole collab you guys have created? I know HHF is the is the belt that holds everything together because you HHF as well, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, like, what are you guys, what's the plan? What's the what's the 
What's we the waking, goal? We waking dudes oh, it's up. You. Uh, waking dudes we, up. We waking. Listen, listen. I'm out here doing God's work. Hey. Listen. Let me tell you something, man. You know how many people come up to me and say, "Man, I was going through a, a divorce. I was going through this." Man, these dudes are living quiet lives of desperation. You know, letting their woman talk to them crazy while they pay all the bills. You know, going up to women and tricking off because they don't recognize the value in themselves. Man, I'm all about waking dudes up to their own value and teaching them how to build their value. Work out, eat right, build yourself, put your time and energy into yourself, pour into yourself first so you can give from strength. Recognize your value Because I know multi, multi millionaires I have, I have mentors who make millions of dollars a month Not all of them, life is great Just because they have the money If you don't understand how to have your relationship right How to have the dynamics with a woman right Your life ain't going to be great The quality of your life is going to be based on the quality of your relationship So if you ain't got some game about yourself If you don't understand and know your value and love yourself Because you're doing the work to put into yourself Then your life ain't going to be great We just going around and we waking these, these dudes up Giving them a game they daddy should have You know what I'm saying? So they understand how to go out in this world And not be taken advantage of, manipulated and, and used by these women. Oh, he hung up. He knew. Uh, yeah, but here's the deal, man. Like, we, Goldie, will, will you ever get married, man? Man, my, th my thing is this. <laughs> I could have a life partner. I don't got to get the government involved with that. Hey, man, because a marriage is a contract and a bad contract, if you ask me, unless a woman making way more than me. So if I'm really serious about a woman and we doing things, guess what? If we want to have some security in this relationship, we can get some investment properties together. We can get some assets together. And that will secure that if this thing breaks up, we're equally taken care of. But as far as getting the government involved, man, I ain't never seen how that worked out for somebody. He man. married to the game, man. He married, he married to, the to the game. Yeah. Man, you know, I always say, you know, I, I hear y'all talk about it. I say, which one am I going to fit? to? Put? I'm not a player. Am I the pimp? Oh, I'm out of Mac. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> everybody, which everybody. Which one is the player? Which one is the pimp? Which one is the <laughs> Mac? He got, he, got, he, got a, he got a good yeah. explanation for that. <laughs> Let them know what your, your perspective is. This is Goldie. my perspective. You know, everybody wants to be a quote unquote pimp. But what people don't understand is that's not the only player in the game. It's a lot of players in the game. It's the player, it's the Mac, it's the hustler. You know, it's the, it's the whole hustler. You know, he's just coming in doing what he's doing. Everybody wants to be the pimp, but most 99.9% of men could never be a pimp because a pimp has certain rules and regulations that he lives his life by. And 99.9% .9 of men, they could never, even if they wanted to. So, man, stop trying to say you a pimp. Say you a player. Say you a Mac. Say you, listen, and you know, I think Ken got a different explanation, but Jimmy Starr, shout out Jimmy Starr. You know what he told me? He said, a Mac is a polished pimp. And I know a lot of pimps not going to like that, but he, 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 he would tell me this. He, what? This is what Jimmy Starr would tell me. He would say, man, a Mac is a polished pimp. See, a pimp know how to do one thing. You know, pimp on hoes. He might have a couple girls in the strip club. The Mac own the strip club. The Mac got businesses. The Mac got skills. You know, the Mac can do all things. The pimp can only pimp. Now, you need to pimp. You got to ask Ken about that. But it's, you don't got to call yourself a pimp. You could be a player. You could have control of your household and control of your woman and be a real man and stand on business, right? And you ain't got to call yourself a pimp. Be okay with just being a player. You know so, what I'm saying? So, Goldie, you, 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 you a player. Hold on, hold on. I'm a player. I've never been be a, a pimp. Player. I ain't never been hey, a pimp. A real player. Hey, I'm hey, just a player, man, which hey. is a real man. Because before anything, like Dre say, before anything, you got to be a man first. Before you a pimp, before you a lawyer, before you a doctor, you got to be a man first with principles. Let me, so break, that's it, what let I me am. break it down to you from oh, the pimp Okay, hold on. I got to get yeah, this yeah, on yeah. camera. We see, got to get this. This is going to be good. See, see, a, a, every pimp could be a player, but every player can't be a pimp. Right. See, the P and my pimp is stand for player. But the play, the P and the player pimp, pimp uh, the P and the player, a uh, 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 player don't stand for pimp. So that's the difference. You know what I'm saying? And like he said, man, ninety nine point nine percent of the people cannot live according you to couldn't. these principles. See, see, the the, the the key thing that Goldie say that's so profound to me, and I think a lot of young people are starting to acclimate to it, is that you got to lower the value of the. That if you don't, you if, you, if you if you if you don't take off the pedestal, if you don't let your, if you let your little head beat your big head, if you tend under the zipper, then you know you lost the battle. Yeah, yeah. Because, because we call that tender. Yeah, tender. Because because the whole game, the whole game, the difference between the player. Let me show you something. And this here, you're always gonna be able to relate to. See, one game pair another game. You're a jack boy, right? You go Jack Goldie. You know what I'm saying, me? And once you Jack Goldie, and you get his money, you are gonna go take it to the hoe, right? And the hoe gonna go and take it back to go to the pimp, and then I ain't go, no pimp though. I mean, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just, I'm he just, just made example. I'm an example. And then, then the pimp gonna go give it to the lean man. Then the lean man gonna go uh, make it rain in the strip club. One game pair another game. That's the only why it's called the underworld because the underworld feed off of each other. So you understand know I me? Mean? A lot of players, you know, they can play on pimps. You know, like, you know, we got some partners, you know, that throw the three-card body, that could, yeah. could throw the top and ball. 
and pimps fall for it all the time. Pimps, when it comes to gambling, gambling are some of the biggest tricks on the planet. Yeah. You know, they get tricked out of their money all the time, but they go break a bitch out of her money. And then, you know what I'm saying, the dude that break the pimp out of the money, he gonna go get some powder from the powder man. You see what I'm saying? And then, you know, it goes on and on and on. So that's why I say every, every pimp can be a player, but every player can't be a pimp. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.